Hello Jacksonville High School class of 2021 and senior parents of the class of 2021. This is Ben Peacock, your proud principal, uh, coming at you two nights in a row. Uh, as promised, uh, we wanted to release a video specifically intended for our awesome 2021 seniors and our awesome 2021 senior parents. So a couple things. Uh, did, did things a little bit differently this time. Wanted to put kind of the entire agenda on the board behind me just to kind of go over some important things we want our seniors and our senior parents to know these last six weeks of the spring semester. So first thing we want to remind everybody, this was our theme in last night's video. It's our theme tonight with our senior video, and that is the importance of parents and seniors of finishing strong. So what does that mean? Well, seniors, it means first and foremost that you are passing your classes and in attendance as much as you need to be to earn your credits to finish high school. We say a lot of times around here, we want to prepare you not just to get to May 21st graduation at the Tomato Bowl, but for the next 30 years after that. But before we can start talking about the future, we have to handle the present. So make sure you're passing all your classes, make sure your attendance is good to go so you can enjoy all those great things about the home stretch of your senior year. So make sure attendance and grades are good. Also, seniors, we want to encourage you to cherish the memories you are going to make these last six weeks. You cannot fully cherish those memories if you're worried about graduation. So make sure you take care of the big things like grades and attendance so you can enjoy those moments and, and cherish those memories. And finally, seniors, uh, finishing strong means leaving a legacy that you can be proud of when you come back here in the next few years and say hello. Tell kids all the time, you want to be the type of senior that when you graduate, people miss you. You don't want to be the type of senior that when you graduate, people are glad to see you walk out the door. So seniors, I encourage you, uh, make sure you continue to respect your teachers, all staff members. Make sure you work well with others so that when you graduate, people will miss you, uh, not just be glad that you're gone. Leave that proud legacy to make yourselves proud, us proud, and your families proud. That's very, very important. Next thing you want to talk about, simple things, seniors, make sure you are checking your email consistently. And by consistently, I mean at least twice a day, once in the morning, once in the evening, a lot of stuff, important stuff we're sending out to you through email. Make sure you're staying on top of your email these last few weeks of the semester. Next thing I want to talk about, a lot of the events that we're going to mention in the next few minutes, all of those are made available to you on our senior 2021 senior webpage. In order to access that webpage, you just go to the JHS website, and then there's going to be a link there for 2021 seniors. Make sure you click on that. And all the events that are coming up these last few weeks of the semester will be listed on that page. So really important that you check that out to stay up to date on all that is going on for our seniors here at JHS the last few weeks of the semester. Next thing I want to talk about real quick, there is a lot of money out there, seniors, from local organizations, state organizations, even national organizations, a lot of scholarship money out there, but you have to go and get it. We can't do that for you. So make sure you're filling out your scholarship applications and getting them turned in. A lot of those scholarship applications get returned to Ms. Stevens or to Ms. Lewis, or to Mr. Boyd, or some of them you have to send in on your own. However you do it, whatever the requirement is, make sure you get those in so you get all that money that's out there to help you pay for college or career school. Next thing I wanna talk about, National Anthem Auditions. This is to sing the National Anthem at the Tomato Bowl for graduation. Those auditions, April 16th at 11.45 a.m. here in the JHS Student Commons. Next one, and this is a big one, guys, College Decision Day. Very proud event we've had here the last several years. That will be on Friday morning, April 30th 
at 9.30 a.m. in the JHS Auditorium. You don't want to miss that. Parents, the seating will be somewhat limited. We do expect everybody to have a mask on so we can keep everybody safe when it comes to COVID-19. This is a big deal. Parents, make sure you don't miss it. Students, we can't wait to celebrate your future once you graduate JHS at College Decision Day. And make sure, seniors, you email those senior pictures of you with your, uh, your college acceptance letter. Email those to Miss Stevens. Sarah, Sarah with an H, sarah.stevens at jisd.org. Next thing, something new we're doing this year is an IBC uh, recognition celebration. IBC stands for Industry-Based uh, Certification. For our students who earned those IBCs, many of which are seniors, we want to celebrate you guys May 13th, 11 a.m. in the JHS Auditorium. Next thing, and this is another big thing, Academic Awards Night will be on May 13th at 6 p.m. in the JHS Cafeteria. That is a big night where we honor all of our students, not just seniors, but especially seniors, for all the academic accolades they have earned the last four years at JHS. Next thing is baccalaureate. Baccalaureate is a kind of a religious blessing that a lot of local churches get together and put on to, to bless our students as they finish this chapter of their lives and move on to the next chapter of their lives after high school. So that's a very important, very, very, very great event that uh, several local churches put on for us. 6 p.m. at the First United Methodist Church out here on the Loop. Really hope that a lot of our seniors and our senior parents will attend that very special event. Next thing, uh, we will have senior semester exams this year. We do not have exam exemptions, not for our 9th, 10th, 11th graders, and not for our seniors either. So just like in the fall semester seniors, we do expect you to sit for those semester exams, and those will be scheduled May 17th, 18th, and 19th. Be on the lookout. We will be releasing that specific semester exam schedule for you guys. That will be a different semester exam schedule from the one that the underclassmen get. But we do expect you to sit for those semester exams. Why? Because just a few months from now, when a lot of you guys are in college, you will all be taking semester exams at the college level. There are no exemptions for semester exams at the college level either. We want to set that high expectation for you. So those senior semester exams this semester will be coming up. Make sure you are prepared. Make sure you take those seriously because they do impact your grade just a few days before graduation. So those are very, very important. I want to erase this real quick and tell you finish up by talking about graduation events. So I'm just gonna write graduation up here really big, okay? This is something we've all been looking forward to for several years. I know seniors, you and your families have been looking forward to this since you were pre-K, so 13 years now. So a few things to mention about that. We will have senior clearance, and senior clearance just means that you are good to go, all your grades, if you have any fines, all those are paid up, and that you are in good standing with our high school before we clear you to walk at the tomato bowl. So that's gonna be senior clearance, will be May 20th here at JHS, and we will start in the auditorium. This is a good time to remind seniors that graduation in the, in the tomato bowl is a privilege. It is not a right, uh, you know, Plenty of kids over the years have graduated from high school and have taken their diploma and did not graduate the Tomato Bowl. Now we know that it is very special for you, your families, and for us that you graduate in the Tomato Bowl. But in order to do that, you have to follow the rules, you have to meet our expectations, and parents, we need your help with that. So seniors, it's very, very important that you make smart decisions, that you don't do anything that's going to jeopardize jeopardize your ability to graduate in the tomato bowl on may 21st at 8 p.m because once again that is a privilege so things like senior prank senior skip day your attendance your grades all of those things impact your ability to graduate on may 21st at 8 p.m in tomato bowl so make smart decisions think before you act and remember the stakes are very very high your family wants to see you graduate in the tomato bowl 
I know I do, our staff does, but that's up to you to do what you have to do to make those right decisions also. So please keep that in mind, seniors. Next thing I want to mention after senior clearance is what we call the senior walk. Now, after senior clearance, also on May 20th, we will meet up and we will walk around the elementary schools. It's a very special event where we bus you guys over to each elementary school, have you walk around the hallways, say what's up uh, in your cap and gown to all the, uh, the young GISD students who will hope to em emulate you one day. So the senior walk right after senior clearance on May 20th. Next thing is, is graduation practice, which will be 8 a.m. on May 21st. And that will be here at the high school in the auditorium, where we'll use the upper gym and the auditorium. It's a very big thing, seniors. The next few weeks, you'll be getting a lot of information from Ms. Jan Lewis about what to wear, how to dress, what steps you need to take to prepare for graduation. Really important that you read that information carefully. Uh, and in order to graduate from the Tomato Bowl, the night of May 21st, you have to be in attendance on the morning of May 21st for graduation practice. I'll say that one more time because it's very important. In order to participate in the commencement ceremonies 8 p.m. on Friday night, May 21st, you have to attend and participate and be in good, and be in good standing on the morning of of May 21st at 8 a.m. here at the high school for graduation practice. And finally, the moment everybody has been waiting for and is looking forward to, that is our graduation, May 21st, 8 p.m. at the famous Tomato Bowl. So it's gonna be a big deal, it's gonna be a great event. We are meeting about graduation later on this week. Please be expecting to see a lot of videos, a lot of handouts, a lot of information about graduation specifics as we get into that the next few weeks. But graduation will be held for JHS, 8 p.m., Friday night, May 21st. Can't wait to see you there. Can't wait to communicate more with you over the next few weeks. Look forward to seeing you guys, our seniors every day in the hallways, and of course, our awesome senior parents here on campus at all these events, and ultimately, 8 p.m. at the Tomato Bowl, May 21st. Thanks, everybody.